This is Module 6, Lesson 8. In this lesson, we'll be understanding fraction equivalents to investigate decimal numbers on the place value chart. We're going to start with the lesson template for this lesson. And you see we have some area models here. And they're divided into tenths. So we're going to start with shading in the first one. And if we shade in the entire square, we've shaded in 10 tenths. Then we're also going to shade in the second one, also 10 tenths. And the last one, we're going to shade in four of the tenths. So if we add these together, 10 tenths plus 10 tenths plus 4 tenths, we've shaded in 24 tenths. And we can see by the area model that we've filled in two holes plus 4 tenths, so our decimal would be 2 and 4 tenths. We do the same thing with the second set of area models, but this time we're going to divide them into hundreds. And we're going to color in exactly what we did in the first one. So we're going to color shade in this entire first square. And we've colored all of it in. So it's 100 hundredths that we've shaded. And again, we're going to shade in the second square. So another 100 hundredths. We're going to shade the same portion of our last area model and in this model it was four t tenths so in this one it would be 40 hundredths since each 10 has 10 hundredths that would be 40 hundredths if we add them together we have 240 hundredths And we can see that we've shaded in exactly the two things in these area models. So we've shaded in two holes. And the shaded part of the third one would be 40 hundredths. And we know that these two are going to be equivalent since we've shaded exactly in the same amount on the area models. Now we're also going to look at this same number on a place value chart. So we have two ones and we have four tenths and we've used place value charts before we know we can move from one unit to a smaller unit by multiplying by ten so one ten is equal to ten tenths and the second one is going to be equal to ten tenths And so altogether, we have 24 tenths. So we've shown this in another way, the area model as well as the place value chart. Now let's say we wanted to go to hundredths. We could take each of these separate tenths and draw a hundred hundredths, but that would be a way too many place value discs to have to draw. So we're going to use what we know about equivalent fractions to show how many hundredths. So we have 24 tenths here, and we want to end up with hundredths. So we know, using what we know about equivalent fractions, if we multiply the denominator by 10, we'll get hundredths. So if we m multiply the numerator also by 10, we get 240. So we have the same thing we have here. 
So we've shown it with an area model, with a place value chart, and also with fraction equivalents. So three ways we can write our decimal fractions. We can write them as a decimal. We can write them as units. So this would be equal to 36 tenths. And we can also write it as a fraction. In addition, we know we can convert this into hundredths. So if 36 tenths, this would be 360 hundredths. Since each 10 is 10 hundredths, so we're multiplying by 10. Just like visualize what you did on the place value chart, going from tenths to hundredths, we're multiplying by 10, which would be equal to 3 and 60 hundredths. Yes, use this to work some problems in our problem set. So for one, it says to use the area model to represent 250 hundredths and then complete the number sentence. So we start with 250 hundredths and then notice we're going to tenths. So pause the video and try this one. So 250 hundredths, if we think in our, we want to go to tenths, we'd be dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 10 to get to tenths. So we'd end up with 25 tenths. 10 tenths makes 1. So 20 tenths would make 2 ones. And we'd have 5 tenths left. So as a decimal, we'd write that 2 and 5 tenths. Showing that on our area model, we have 2 and 5 tenths. So explaining what we did, again, we converted hundredths to tenths by dividing by 10. And then we determined how many ones, how many tenths. We wrote it as a decimal, and we showed it on our area model. Moving on to number two, now we're going to use place value dis to decompose. So the first one says two ones. So here's two ones. And we want to go to tenths. So we're going to multiply by 10 and get 10 tenths for our first one and 10 tenths for the second one. And all together we have 20 tenths. Okay, you try the next one. So here we start with two tenths and we're gonna decompose into hundredths. We see we end up with 20 hundredths. Try the next one. So here we have one ten and three tenths, and we want to end up with tenths. So we're going to decompose the one into tenths. And if we count, we have thirteen tenths. Try the next one. We have two tenths, three hundredths. We want to end up with hundredths. So we're going to decompose. Decompose again. And if we count, we see we have 23 hundredths. Moving on, we're going to continue to decompose, but this time without the place value charts. So for number one, one equals 10 tenths. So try B. Two would be two tenths. Try C. 
1 and 7 tenths, the 1 would be 10 tenths, plus 7 more would be 17 tenths. Try D. That would be 29 tenths. Try E. Ten would be ten tenths or a hundred tenths plus seven would be a hundred and seven tenths. Try F. That would be two hundred and nine tenths. Now for four we're going to go to a hundredths. So one would be a hundred hundredths. Try B. That would be two hundred hundredths. Try C. So for C, one would be a hundred hundredths. Seven tenths would be seventy hundredths. So that would be a hundred and seventy hundredths. Try D. Two hundred and ninety hundredths. Try E. So ten hundredths would be a thousand. So that'd be one thousand seventy hundredths. Okay, try F. Two thousand ninety hundredths. And if you look, you can see pattern here and relate it to this one. When we're multiplying by hundredths, we've got an extra zero or an additional zero as we move from tenths to hundredths. Number five, we're going to complete the chart. The first one's been done. So let's see what they're doing here. We started with a decimal. The decimal gets written as a mixed number. Then we count how many tenths and how many hundredths and write those in fraction form. So you try the next one. So the next one will be four and two tenths. So that would be 42 tenths. So 42 tenths. And that would be 420 hundredths. Make sure you're using that TH and we'd write that as 420 hundredths. Try the next one as the mixed number 8 and 4 tenths. That would be 84 tenths in unit form and 84 tenths in fraction form. And then 840 hundredths. Eight hundred and forty hundredths. Try the next one. That would be ten and two tenths. So that would be a hundred and two tenths. That would be one thousand twenty hundredths. And finally, try the last one. So, as a mixed number, seventy five and five tenths. So as tenths, that would be 755 tenths. And it would be 7,550 hundredths. And that's the end of lesson eight.